All right, today we are talking about an amazing alternative to Loom and to Screencastify. And I came across it just a couple weeks ago and I've already created a ton of content using this software. It's called Tella. I'm Nora Conrad, I'm a productivity expert and a content creator. And this is a software that I think all creators need to be using. This video was paid for by Tella, but as always, all thoughts are my own. I will never share something I don't use. And I swear to you guys, this is gonna be one of my most used tools. So let's jump on in. What is Tella? Tella is a software tool that combines screen recordings and camera footage to help you create professional looking recordings and videos. In fact, most of this video is going to be edited and recorded in Tella so you can really see exactly what it can do. There are a ton of options for customization and editing, making it suitable for a wide range of things from product demos to presentations, tutorials, online courses, or even just making some quick social media videos. It offers features like screen and camera configuration, different layouts, different backgrounds. You can trim and edit within the app and you can customize borders, shadows, and even add call to action buttons at the end. Tella does offer a free seven day trial, but you do need a pro account eventually after that trial is over. And that pro account is $19 a month or $15 a month if you sign up for the year. So I just wanna get that out ahead of time so you know if this fits in your budget. So let's talk about how Tele can actually help creators. The best part of the software is that you don't need any specialized editing apps or technical expertise. Tele makes the entire process super user friendly. It's very intuitive to learn. Um, there's nothing really like hidden in the settings or anything. You, it's really easy to just pick up. Tele allows you to configure your screen and camera settings effortlessly, including making videos in a 16 by nine format for social media. Editing video with Tella takes minutes. You can trim, split, delete unnecessary parts of your recording, and all of it ensures that your final video is polished and concise. Plus, you can also apply changes to individual clips or clips at once, just for some consistency or to make editing that much faster. Once you have finished creating your video, Tella offers convenient sharing and download options, so you can easily share your video by copying the link provided or if you prefer to have a local copy to upload it to a different platform, Tele allows you to download your videos in various resolutions and formats. So that way you can post on different social media platforms and have the right footage size. Okay, so now we're gonna walk through Tele and I'm just gonna show you all these features because I think that's the best way to learn exactly what this does. So first we're gonna work on setting up a Tele account. So here is my Tele account. Um, Signing up is super easy. You just log in with an email and a password and you will get a Tele Pro trial for seven days. You can request a longer trial if you need it for some reason, but I have a feeling you guys are gonna know right away if this is for you or not. So you do get unlimited recording duration during that seven day trial. And once you're logged in, you're gonna land on this Tele dashboard. Here you're gonna find tutorials and you're gonna have access to all of your recordings and all of your videos. To start recording, all you have to do is click new video here. There are three different methods for using Tele. You can use the Tele in-app browser, you can use the Tele Chrome extension, or you can use the Tele Mac app. Right now I'm using the Mac app simply because I don't like having to open my browser every time I wanna record something, um, but choose the method that works best for you. I found that all of them work really well and I haven't had any bugs with any of them. Before you start recording, you'll want to configure your gear. So you can see down at the bottom here that you can choose your mic, your camera, and what screen you want to share. Now, this is not gonna work for me right now because I am already recording in the Telemac app. So keep that in mind, you will see all of your webcams, mics, whatever you have connected to your computer. You're gonna select that desired camera and microphone for optimal quality and ensure that you have the screen or specific tab that you want to record already up and ready. So that way when you choose share screen, it will pull up the right tab. You can also click more here and you can choose to show the speaker notes. This is really helpful if you want to have your outline handy and be able to see them as you go. So that way you can have your notes and you won't forget what you're talking about. You can hit that record button and Tele will begin to capture your video. You can also stop this recording at any time and create additional recordings to your project as needed with multiple clips. Once you're finished, you can preview the clips and make any necessary edits in the splitting features. Let's add some personality to your videos. 
So Teleda offers a lot of different customization options. When you go into your video, this is the screen that you're going to see, and you can see that there's edit, trim, share, download, subtitles, and view settings. I'm gonna start with edit here and we'll work our way through all the menus. So when I go into the edit screen, I can see my timeline down here at the bottom and I can add additional clips as needed. I can trim the video, which will allow me to cut out pieces of the video that aren't relevant or maybe just were redundant. I can zoom in on various parts of the video. So you can see I have zooms here to show you the things I'm talking about in the video and really highlight some options. You can re-record pieces, which is such a game changer. This makes it so much easier that if you, you know, stumbled over your words, if you said something incorrectly, you can just go back in, add a clip, and it will automatically record for you. We also have the background option, and this is so handy for creating branding and creating a look to all of your videos that's consistent. I love uploading my own images to this to create different brands for the different companies that I have, but you can also just do a solid color, you can do gradients, or you can choose images. And one of my favorite parts of the image feature is that you can search for images such as computer, let's say, and it's powered by Unsplash. So you're going to have access to thousands of images that will be exactly what you want and can fit whatever theme you're going for for the video. Next up is layouts. Layout is a really easy way for you to edit your recording and just show your screen exactly the way you want it. You can make individual changes based on the templates, but you can also click on the screen itself and move your video, resize it, and edit it to be exactly what you want in the way that you want it to look. Next up is borders. So this will change the shape of the actual screen recording. You can just have a classic square or a rounded edge shape. And then there's also different styles. So you can create a nice backdrop shadow, you can create a glow, you can have no border at all. All of them look super nice and just help polish all of that off. It's little details like this that I think just makes Telus stand out among the competition. You can also mirror your camera, which is really helpful for if you are doing text or if you just need a different editing shot and you just want to add a little bit of context to that. And then you can also crop your screen. So if you don't want to show the entire part of your screen, you can crop that down to fit wherever you want to highlight or whatever area on your screen that maybe you just didn't set up correctly when you were originally recording the video. And then the last one is that you can edit the size. So like I said, you can use Tele for social media videos. This is something that I know I'm going to use a ton for TikTok and Instagram Reels. Um, so the size, you can do square. This works for a variety of platforms. The portrait mode works for, you know, long short form videos. And then you also have the landscape mode, which is great for YouTube or longer form content. When you're done with the video, Tele makes it really easy for you to then share and download that video. So you can just copy this link here and share that with others. There's a bunch of options that will pop up for email, embedding, or sharing on social media. You can also add this to various channels, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Or you can just copy that link and share it with whoever needs to see it. You can also add a call to action button, which is really helpful if you're sending this video to clients or doing training or using it as a sales pitch. You can add that link and change the label of the button to be whatever you prefer. You can also download your video. And like I said previously, there are a lot of different formats you can use for this. So you can download in 4K re resolution with a pro account, which is another reason to just upgrade from that free trial as soon as you know that this is going to be something you use. You can even download separate clips. So if you do plan on doing further editing or if you want the separate clips to cut it up for social media videos, that can be really helpful. And then you can also include subtitles. Tele does automatic subtitles, which you can edit to be whatever you need or, you know, to make little tweaks. Um, but this is another great thing for social media videos that you can just have the subtitles right on the video. They look super clean and nice. And the export is usually pretty darn quick. So to edit those subtitles, you just go to edit subtitles here. You can see all of the text. You can just type directly in here and make any changes you need. And then you can also download the subtitles as its own file so that if you want to upload that to YouTube or whatever platform you use, it's really easy to do that as well. Or you can just copy it and you can choose if you want the subtitles to show up by default or not or let people turn those on if you're just going to share the video and not download it. The last 
option here is your view settings. So again, enabling those captions by default, you can allow or turn off commenting. This is great if you are going to use this as a sales pitch and you don't want people commenting on it. And then you can also choose if you wanna show the view count. Again, this is great for any kind of training videos or like internal company videos. You can make it just super clean and minimal like this, um, or you can encourage some like chat and some questions. Okay, let's jump back to that homepage again so I can show you the last couple of things. One of the pieces about Tele that I really appreciate is the ability to organize your videos into various channels. Like I said, I have a couple of companies that I run myself, and so I'm always creating the video content for these. So I'm able to create different channels for each type of video. So let's say that I had a client that I was making videos for. I can give it a name, I can select an icon, all of these are just emojis, so you have a wide range to choose from. And then you can also do a description, and save it. And then your channel will pop up on the sidebar here and you'll be able to view all of the videos for that client or for that channel alone. So if you go to any one of your videos, you can click on those three dots to manage the channel. You can also duplicate it if you want multiple copies to edit things. Um, and then when you go to manage channels, you'll be able to just start typing in that channel name, it'll pop up and you can check it. And you can add it to multiple channels, which is such a huge help if you are a social media manager and you want to keep a copy for yourself, or if you want to send, you know, a channel where all the client, the client can see the entire channel, you can do that as well. At any time you can edit the channel or just delete it. You can also turn on notifications for this channel. So if you work with the team and you guys are all creating videos in Tele together, you can create a notification in Slack when a new video is added to this channel. So you can let your team know when a new video is uploaded or created. And this is just such a game changer for small teams and small businesses that normally have to pay a ton of money to get this kind of access and these kinds of features. So sign up for a Tele account today to start creating and start filming videos and editing videos so much easier. I do have an affiliate link down in the description box if you would like to use that and support this channel. Make sure that you take advantage of all the customization options, easily sharing your videos and downloading them in the format you prefer. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them all down in the comment box below. Happy creating and I will see you guys soon.